Welcome, end of the month, yeah! End of the month, payday for me, that's good. And it's vacation, my vacation starts today. It's Friday the 29th. Usually I do a live video on the 30th of every, the end of the month, 30th, 31st, at the end of the month, I do a live video, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it tomorrow, so. I'm gonna just do a walking video, show you around town, just give you the sights and sounds of my local town. I've done the, I'm living in Summit St. Crom, if you don't know. We have this temple right here. And uh, I've done the railway markets, very famous for the Mekong Rail Market. And I've done the floating markets. But today we're just gonna to walk towards a pub. It's Friday night, might as well go get a beer. So just gonna walk and I'm gonna go to a place that I've never been to and walk to an area I've never been to. So we're just gonna slowly walk there. Google says it's about 25 minutes. Might take a little bit longer as we get there. Just walk and talk, give you an update, like I do on my live videos at the end of the month. And let's do that. Um, so this is in the town. We've just had a storm. So I'm hopefully hoping that the storm's finished for today. We usually get an hour storm every day. It can come between the three and five o'clock time. It's now five o'clock, so I'm hoping it's finished. We've been getting some late night showers actually. So the rainy season's here, but let's give it a go. So we're gonna head towards, I'll put on the map where we're gonna head towards and then just maybe a couple of cuts in this video, but just walk and talk and I'll show you my town. The town that you haven't seen on my videos yet. Uh, I don't have my bike anymore, so we're gonna walk there. That's why we'll walk. All right, let's go. All right, I'm gonna be behind the camera now. So you don't have to look at my melon, you can look at the sides. This is the main road. School is behind me. And this is heading towards the Maeklong markets, as you can see on the sign. And then turning right, we are gonna turn right is Empawa floating market we've been there we've done a video there um, to the right is the running track which I go running I should be going four or five times a week but I've been going two three times a week uh, we'll go check it out exercise equipment it's a good little running track good on the knees So yeah, this is the running track that I run on. 400 meters. Over here they usually have um, Zumba. Uh, you just dance and then you can pay a tip. I haven't done it, but it's very popular. It's just rained, so it's not as many people as normal here, but usually there's a lot of people exercising. got the clock tower we got some sort of thing up there more exercise equipment play equipment these are sort of being my exercise equipment so it's nice it's a good little running track it's soft it's good on the knees that's probably why, um, especially for the old people here, a lot of old people exercise, 50s, 60s, they're running, very fit people here. They run more than I can. Usually I run this way, but we'll do a little sh shortcut. Look at those clouds. Hopefully we don't get wet. Got some balancing, jumping stuff. Very nice, very well maintained. It can get very busy. 
but the rain's sort of made it a bit quiet, which is good. I didn't want to film people exercising. Most towns in Thailand, uh, I've been to a few towns, they have this sort of area for people to exercise, socialize. Um, most towns have something like this. This is very nice. It reminds me of, of Korea. Korea, they have something similar as well. Um, maintained exercise equipment, running equipment, some monuments. Nice fresh cold water. And here they play some sort of ball games, a bit like bocce, I think it is. Bocce, is that what it's called? A bit like it's not lawn bowls, they throw it. So this town, if you haven't watched my videos or you don't know, Samut Songkram is the smallest province in Thailand. So it is a province. So all the government buildings for what a province needs is here in a small area. Uh, you've got post office. Uh, you got all the immigration. I'd have to do my immigration here. So that's all here. So it is the smallest province in Thailand and yeah, so it's a bit convenient, especially doing all the immigration and police checks. Thirty-five baht for some noodle dishes. So this is the main road now, heading towards Ampoha Floating Market. It's about 10 kilometers this way. We're going to go about two kilometers. Hopefully you can hear me okay. But yeah. It's now 10 past five. So people should be coming home from work. Uh, it is Friday and uh, some schools are going on holidays, I get to go on holidays, but not everyone. Uh, so I get three weeks of holidays, which is pretty good. I thought I was only going to get two weeks. So tomorrow I will go to Bangkok and I'm going to do some stuff in Bangkok for two days. Uh, I'm going to do some stuff in Bangkok for two days and then I'm going to head north. I won't say just yet where I'm going because things could change but I plan to head north to totally new areas that I haven't been, haven't filmed. I'm um, very excited to go up that way. Uh, so we'll, I have three weeks to explore, probably two weeks to be up north that way. Uh, we'll see, how, see what happens. I've got ideas what I want to do but I don't have exact plans.
So yeah, I've just completed my first semester of teaching in Thailand. It's gone quite fast actually. And if you saw my videos at the beginning, I thought I was just going to stay for one semester, but I will finish off the school year. So I'm going to do the second semester. I handed in my bike that I was renting. I was renting it for 3,000 baht a month, but I want to save a bit more money. So I've handed that in. I wasn't going to need it this month anyway, because I'm going to be traveling north. Uh, so try to uh, figure it out a bit of a budget so I can start saving some money now, which is good. This is the local uh, football stadium. Um, it was the home of the Samut Songkram FC. They were in Division 3. I was excited to go watch some games, but I think they folded. They ran out of money or something's happened. They're not playing this year. But again, more running track, more exercise. So yeah, I was very excited to come and watch some games here, but um, the team's folded, some Samut Songkram FC. They were playing in Division 3. They did quite well, actually. They made the first stage to go on to the second stage to get, try to get promotion. But in the second stage, they did, uh, it was a bit difficult. So they didn't make it. Uh, maybe the owners or whoever put a lot of money into trying to get promoted and they've gone bust. I have no idea. It's just an idea. That's what happens, isn't it, with promotion and relegation. People put too much money in it. Some shops over there, LG, Samsung. I need to get across this bridge, but I don't know where the pedestrian one is. A lot of schools, um, the kids there, they were playing, I didn't want to film them, but they were playing soccer. The Thai kids, Thai students, particularly at my school, they love soccer, football. They love basketball and volleyball. Uh, also, they do a bit of badminton at school. And yeah, they're the three, ma uh, three main ones. Football, basketball, volleyball, they really enjoy. They play it a lot, actually. So hot, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> they play all day at lunchtime, come in the classroom sweating. Our classrooms don't have air conditioning, so very hot. Okay, good, there's a pedestrian crossing up here. So the reason I'm not doing the live video tomorrow is I've been to the hotel that I'm staying at for one night. And um, I just know it's not a good place for me to do a live video. So that's what I'm gonna do now. No one's actually talked to me on the live video anyway, so I don't think this matters for this month. And maybe it's interesting for you guys to see just a local town, the sights, and the, the sounds.
rather than just looking at my melon on a live video. Look at my head. <laughs> it's a bit more nicer. Alright, so we're going to cross this river. Uh, if you ever come to Thailand, you come this way. Um, you can, a lot of people do tours and get out this way to see the Mekong train market. Every weekend it's packed full of minivans, minibuses, the town, the car parks. Looks like quite a nice walkway along there actually. But we're gonna go on this side I think. Um, but also if you do have a car or you have your own vehicle or you don't want to spend more than one day in this area along the river there's hotels with uh, pools and river view it's not quite nice here but there's some nicer spots along the river we got the floating market 10 kilometers this way we've got the other floating market about 40 kilometers in the other province Ratchaburi preference. We got across this river. I did a video for plowing day. We went across the river over there. Busy, busy, busy road. So for the Australians this weekend, we've got the AFL Grand Final and the NRL Grand Final. Uh, I'll probably find a pub to go watch at least one of them in Bangkok. Unfortunately, none of the teams I like are in the, either Grand Final. Uh, but good luck if your team is in it. Uh, I think Collingwood, I'm going to go Collingwood over Brisbane, I think will happen. Then in the Rugby League, I think. I'm so surprised with myself, but I'm actually hoping Brisbane win. <laughs> I thought I'd never cheer Brisbane Broncos in my life, but I don't want Penrith to win three in a row. But anyway, good luck with your teams. I think we've got to turn right somewhere up here. I may have to get my phone out.
Just need to look at my phone one moment. Bit sketchy along there. Petrol station, we got KFC, Amazon, 7 Eleven as always. The petrol, the gas is getting more and more expensive. What is it now? 44.99. Every week it gets cost more and more. Google took me the wrong way. We're gonna go this way. Could be where these lights are actually. So I won't film the whole time at the restaurant. I think that was pretty much it. I'll show you a little bit of the restaurant. So maybe make one cut. And uh, well, let's, let's go and have a look. See what happens. Here we go, we found a beer grill. My luck cocktail. Oh, it's open at five. That's good. Whoa. How's that? Nice view, yeah? That's the path I walked all the way along. So there's a lot of these restaurants and cafes along the water, bars. Nice. Bit of debris floating along. I don't know if that's because of the rain or it always happens. Oh yep. That's my town. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. I'll show you a bit of the food and drink. Well, that's it. See you guys next time.